in town here, and we will have some a little additional music and some speakers. Thank you for your honoring of the those who have been killed in action in prior wars. We will begin with Mendy Erke singing the national anthem.
were the survival of freedom to a race of chains and their deaths the tattoo of rebellious tyranny in all. wealth and taste of the nation can add to their adornment and security is but a fitting tribute to the memory of her slain defenders. Let no wanton foot tread rudely on such hollowed grounds, but the pleasant paths invite in the coming
My name is Rachel Brew. I am the Department President for the Veterans of Foreign Wars Auxiliary. I am from Montezuma, Iowa. I am married to a Vietnam Marine. I have a World War II father in the Army. I have brothers that served during Vietnam. And I have a son that's in the Army. I serve the veterans of Iowa and of this nation. This is, we are pausing to remember and honor America's fallen service members. It is a practice dating back more than a hundred years. Since the days of Civil War, humble Americans have gathered together on Memorial Day to remember and pay tribute to all who have fought selflessly, surrendered the precious gift of life so that others can live. Again, we gather this Memorial Day as a nation solemnly united in remembrance of the fallen defenders of our great nation. Freedom is not free. It has come at a great cost, paid with the lives of our sons and daughters, husbands, wives, sisters, brothers, friends, and comrades. Every American owes a great debt to the courageous men and women who have selflessly given all to defend and protect our way of life. And while giving back to the extent they deserve is impossible, celebrating their memory and honoring their most selfless deeds offers a start. As our barbecues, picnics, and other activities take place this weekend, we must remain ever cognizant of the expensive price that came along with these daily freedoms we enjoy. Those who made the ultimate sacrifice so that we may live free of tyranny and fear believe in something greater than themselves. We, they believed in American way of life and they were willing to die to protect it. This Memorial Day paused to reflect on the absolute selflessness of the 1.3 million members of our nation.